how's it going you look so I wasn't actually intending on filming anything today um, I've just been playing around with this trying to get this to work and I thought to myself well I'm near enough there now I can fire this up for the first time and I thought you lot can see the first fire up so it's very it's very experimental at the moment um, I'm determined to use because I can't use I could use a savvy I'm not going to go through it in too much detail at the moment this is just going to be a short video um, but I did I thought I was going to have to use this savage manifold um, because that goes around there but it's not that big a bore this exhaust I've got here you'll know more about it in the proper video when I actually tell you all the details but this is um, a Hognor uh, what is it a PI 810 exhaust um, supposed to be the biggest bore one around apparently so I found it so apparently they didn't make them anymore but I found a com well not a company I found a shop that was selling them so this is a Hongnor PI 810 um, where's the yeah PI 810 inline muffler 9.5 millimeter exhaust polish for 25 to 32 engine so anyway it come with this manifold but obviously it comes it goes around like that so I've taken the, the that one shock off for now I'll try and work around it I'm determined to use it I don't want to use that because it's smaller what's the point in having a big a bigger engine if you're restricting it I'll go through all the details of it in another video on how engines work with um, back pressure and restrictions and all of that basically think of an engine like a pump the more air and fuel you can pump through it the more power you're going to get the better the engine will run so we want that to be as big as possible anyway I've taken that shock off for now whether you look like it or not um, I've bolted deck this engine in um, it's not perfect but it'll do for experiment experimental purposes I haven't found a way to do that yet but I'll work all that out later on I dare say you lot are going to have your opinions you'll put it on, in the comments anyway so let's fire this up for the first time it's not going to be the actual first time because I did put fuel in it I uh, put the glow starter in it pulled it <laughs> a couple of times just to see if it was going to you know what it was like and it fired up so I know it does run but uh, it didn't run for any more than about two seconds so let's stick it on the ground fire it up now and uh, we can actually hear what it sounds like with this exhaust and everything on for the first time here we go as I say it is temperamental I'm a temperamental it is temper it is bloody uh, temporary I'll do something with that later like I say you'll all have your opinions uh, I might put a stiffer spring on it, but I want the second shock there really. I might see if I can get somebody to um, make a wider thing so I can have the shock coming up like that. We'll work something out. But for now, let's fire this beast up and see what she sounds like. I've got a rough idea because of what happened just now, but... Um Here we go. Very, very rich, which is what you want, of course. starter in so we might have to lean her a little bit on that, both of those needles because uh, it ain't no good <laughs> ain't no good keeping that in there because well it just ain't
that sounds lovely. I won't have it running much longer because it's getting a bit late now and might, I might annoy the neighbours, but that sounds brilliant. I'm proper happy with that. I've just got to work out a little way of holding that exhaust on there. Drill a couple of extra holes there so I can put the springs on because if I match it so the springs... God, that's hot already. If I match it so the holes line up for the springs, it points outwards like that. And we don't want that, do we? So I've got to drill some more holes. Then I can put the springs on. Work out something for the shock. And that's it. That is it for the engine then. Sweet. <laughs> Look how much fuel they used. That was brimmed up to the top there, that was. That small little run used up all that. Anyway, so yeah. What do you think? I'm well happy with it. I have to get the dirt off of it. I scratched it up a bit when I was trying to get the manifold on because the spring was too short. But um, yeah, man. That's that. Fired up for the first time. Yeah, what I'll do is there's loads of different options on the table. What I'm thinking, to be honest, it's not. I'm not really. I don't really care that much of how it works. I think I could either try and make something that I bolt onto there and just like an extension bar thing, um, and it will bring the shock out enough just so that it clears that manifold um, for both shocks but then if I do it for both I'll have to do it for the other side probably but can't really just leave it just one shock there because it won't be able to do any jumps because it will just keep smashing on the floor so I'll work that out I'll play around with that because I need to use this manifold really because there's no point in having a bigger engine and having a restrictive exhaust system it's just completely pointless so just just all the power that it would be making is just being restricted on the way out so right oh you lot short video but we fired it up for the first time a lot more to, of adjustments to be done a lot more things to do um different servos that's a steering servo that i'm going to put in now i think probably um i'll break that on the top there some of you lot pointed out that the servo that I've got in there's a 24 tooth and the servo saver is 25 tooth that's why it wasn't fitting well I was kind of hoping that I could just jam it on there and play around with it but all I've done I've jammed that on there for now but there's also the other servo savers currently jammed on there and super glued on on the 24 tooth one so I might just leave that on there super glued uh, or I might change the whole servo and put that one on there because that's a 25 tooth servo I don't know anyway Catch you later. Remember, look after yourselves, others before you, but you first, if needs be. Ciao for now.